it's just before 7 a.m. Balboa Park time. And uh, it's a pretty Saturday morning. Boom. And I slept like a baby last night. I think the dog did too. We were very happy in our sleeping situation. But uh, I've decided last night when we went for our night walk, I think I'm getting too old to open the doors on your building. They're too heavy. Poop time. So yeah, I think the doors are too heavy. I don't go down out through the basement except with my bike because I don't have to, I don't like having to open that door to push the button so I can open the gate. But we're back home at this gate. This one's easy to open. See ya. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon Saturday and I'm walking the DOG and there's a skateboarder coming fast. Come here, buddy. <laughs> we would have let you go by. We would have let you go by. Enjoy your ride, mister. You're going fast. Enjoy your ride. Oh, there's my shadow. So, this is usually where all the ground squirrels are. And he can usually keep up with the uh, little baby ones. If I didn't have a leash, he'd probably catch a squirrel a day, give him a ticket, and then eat him. A snack, squirrel snack, squirrel burrito, wrapped up in fur, and that's it. Another dog coming our way. But you know the thing that I love about Champ is he doesn't care about any other dog. Mike and Marcy, they have a little dog named Will that just barks at everybody. Here comes another dog. Barks. Oh, two dogs. Look here. We got friends today. Yeah, Will barks, barks, and barks. Same with Finn Dinwiddie. Oh. If there's a dog coming our way when I have Will or Finn, then I just cross the street because it's easier. Finn's so little that sometimes I just pick him up. Will's little too, but the reason why he's named Will, they bought him named Will, is because his wiener, he's like a little, I don't know what he is, a little terrier? His wiener is gigantic. You can't pick him up because it goes all the way up to like his front legs. So when you pick up uh, Will, you got the Willie in your hand. And that's my story for you today. The front door, the first front door closest to the elevators is kind of sticking. It's a little hard to open. But like I said this morning, I think I'm getting old and your doors are getting heavy. And I talked to your neighbor Mary yesterday when she was going to do laundry and we rode the elevator down together and that's it so we're coming past here we go up to quince and then cross there stop it pure um whatever that bar it's called pure something because they have a water bottle out front or a water bowl it gets a little dose of water there freshly squeezed from pure and then we head home so this is us doing our thing on Saturday afternoon. It's probably about 5.30 p.m. And we just went on a little Balboa Park walk. But he knows it's dinner time. So he's like, okay, I peed. That's all I'm gonna give you. At this walk, when I first get here, that's all he does. Pees and then grabs the leash. We make it across the street. It's actually quite pleasant. The afternoon walk, though? No. I'm right here. The afternoon. Oh, there's the back side of the dog. You can see both sides of him. Huh. Huh, buddy? So, uh, I'm gonna make him some dinner. And, uh, start our evening. This is my date. You're my Saturday night date. Do you want to go to the SRO lounge? Hmm? Do you want to go to the SRO lounge with me? Hang out with the, the el elderly homosexuals like me? Huh? Do you think your tail will wag? I think so. I think you're a swell doggy.
You're a good boy. Champ and I are on our evening walk. Oh, thank you for the lighting. That helped. And um, we're going to stop by to see if Marcy Youngberg Kessler is working at that little restaurant right there tonight. She sent me a text earlier saying she was working on the patio tonight, starting at 5 p.m. And I don't know what time it is, but it's after 5 p.m. And if they're busy, I do have on my flashlight. I have on my, but they're not flashing. I can make them, but it's, I'd have a, a seizure. I'd, ha I'd have a seizure if I had this. And even the slow is like, oh, you'd find me on the corner somewhere. But she can see me if it's just lit up like that. So they are busy. Yeah. Let's see if we can see Marcy. Here, buddy. Mars. Oh, Mars. There she is right there. Hey, Marcy. Say, say hi to Michael. Hi, how are you? So that was successful seeing Marcy, wasn't it? Uh huh. She was working out the out the outdoors, and it's nice enough tonight to be outdoors. But there is a crowd. I like it when I'm able to talk to somebody for a few minutes without them. I gotta get back to work. She doesn't like that at all. I actually said he's ready to go. He's got the leash. He doesn't want to stop and chit chat where it smells like food on the floor everywhere and he's trying to hold the leash and sniff and all that jazz so we're home that's how far away our friend marcy works huh buddy there you go now i can free you you can drag the leash the rest of the way home sirs you can drag the leash the rest of the way home sirs but I have to open the castle gate. Oh, hold on. This is where it sticks. All right, buddy. 